Hi, this is Manish. Today I'm going to talk about indirect file load in Informatica. So what is indirect file load? What is the purpose of using indirect file load in Informatica? So let me clear uh, this doubt uh, through this uh, flow diagram. So uh, this A, B, C, D, these are the file which is uh, having same uh, metadata structure, same, same structure it has. And this is final target it has uh, this is one single target so all uh, the data from a b c and d will be loaded into the final target so why indirect file load that can be achieved through union also we can uh, create a union transformation and and that we can create a multiple ports groups and we can add it we can load all we can union all this a b c d and load into the target table so what is the use of indirect file load now if suppose e and f two more file has been added if these two four two files have been added then this union will work never it will not work because it will work if the file is definite uh, we if you know like how many numbers of files uh, are coming and need to be processed so that time union will work but if you if you're not aware if you're not clear like how many files will come from source systems then that time indirect file load uh, will be uh, very helpful so how it works how indirect file works so let me create one uh, informatica mapping so that will give you an overview an idea like how this indirect file works so I have created uh, three files employee underscore a b and c and I will load through informatica and I will use indirect file loading concept. So for, first, let me open uh, the source file folder. So this is employee underscore a and underscore b and c. These are having same structure. If you if you up open any one of any one of it, yeah, you, you can see there is two column. One is employee ID. One is employee name. So if you open this, this also you will see employee ID employee name this is also having same structure so how how these three files we combine in one mapping so that is confusing no so to to load these three files you should have one more files which will say, say you like how many files you have to load so in that list file we will get the entry for all the files employee a underscore b c all file will be here which is required to load so in real time who will give this file list file this list file should come from a source system source system should give that list file so if it may possible source system uh, process a different number of files each day so they will send us one list file uh, name so we will read uh, read uh, that list file name and will load the files so let me create a mapping so I have already created target table so in target table I'm, table I'm keeping only employee number employee name and file name why this file name why it is required in target table file name is nothing but it will tell you from which file this record has been loaded suppose if I have loaded because target is a single instance a single table if you are loading from the multiple files if somebody asks you to debug it so from which file this information came 
suppose you have a thousand thousand number of files you are loading it and you're not using this file name column and you have to debug one record how you will do that you cannot open each and every file so if I, you will keep file name then you can go you can go through you can debug through uh, that file name you have to search only that file so let me import uh, source definition so any one of uh, them is fine you can take any one import field name from the first line tilde text finish so now click on properties here you can see how you will get file name dynamic file name a processed file name you will get from this if you enable this port uh, one column will automatically add will add here so this this will give you the current processed file name now uh, let me increase the precision 50 name can be of 200 500 apply okay and I have already imported a uh, table um, oracle table a target table a single instance table now create mapping m underscore entire file load now drag and drop your source information here I will make it simple will not use any expression anything over here so what's your target table it's indirect this is your target table just yeah your so mapping is done Now go to workflow, create a new workflow here, now this is the mapping which we have created already, click ok, so here is some tricky thing you need to do, go to mapping, go to source, imp source, uh, imp uh, source information, a source file information now here um, let me check first so we have okay this tilde is there sometime it not come you have to give manually so input type is file okay so you can see the properties here source file type this is direct changes to indirect okay so indirect means you can load a number of mm. now where is the source file give that path yeah and what is your file name so here you should not give your file name you should give the file list So this is the list this is a file of uh, list click apply go to target yeah now is set okay so what basically we have done here we selected indirect source file type we have uh, given the directory where this list file is present 
and the main file also present and we gave we gave a source file name that list uh, file name information that's it now run the job it is succeeded go to run properties so trend records got loaded so if you see our calculation in the first file it was four second file three and third file three so total is uh, 10 okay correct let me check in database yeah so uh, you can see here so this is the uh, data and this is the information like from which location on which file this data came so this first data now came from this first four set of data came from employee underscore a file and this three came from b and c so now so we have to prove here like if we if we will add more file it will load or not go to source file create one more file copy it paste here now change it to d and kita yeah so here we have to add one more file information so we have done do we need to change anything in code? No, why it's required? No. Go there. If you want to truncate it. Yeah, I can truncate it. Now you run the. Turn your session. Now you can see now three more records has been loaded. So if you are using indirect file, it will not check like how many. You can load n number of files if if, if those those entries uh, those file name is present in the in the list file. Now if you want to see the data, you can see. So you can see Ankita, Chandkala and Rajni that these information have been loaded and this is the file from where this um, three records have been loaded. So thank you for watching this video. I will keep upload up uh, will I will keep upload a more video for you. Thanks.